Now you might be thinking, how do they make this structure? Who built it and why? And all three questions can be answered by one very concise answer. Aliens. Whichever asked and I didn't bring sunglasses. <laughs> so your eyes are just like on fire. Pretty much. <laughs> The shuttle bus has arrived. To the stones. To the stones. Yeah, you're on the board. Oh, you don't need to send it for it. I'm going to think about the extender. Standing on the bus. The bus. Yeah. Let's get off the bus. Let's get off the bus. <laughs> <laughs> That was the guy. So we we got the stones. I think this is built by aliens. Is that the thing? Okay. What the hell is this? Okay. It's not, it's not even the side of the road. It's like right on the way to the stone. There it is. Give us a point. Looking very stony. So we definitely could have taken, we could have walked here, but it was like, like from the coach station, but it was, yeah, it's five minute bus ride, but it was like a 20 to 25 minute walk. We saw people walking. I was like, ah. I did, I worked out legs two days ago. So today's not the day for me to walk. <laughs> I'm already like limping about. It's definitely much bigger in person than it looks on this screen. <laughs> like, this screen is not doing this justice. Wasn't this like a desktop Windows desktop saver too at one point? Well, like, on, so on the computer? Yeah. yeah, on the computer, I think it was. Oh, that wind? A bit windy, isn't it? A little windy, yeah. I mean, we're in the middle of like a field. Like, look at this. There's like nothing around. Oh, yeah, because this is like, this was essentially on a farm. Okay, now that we can get much closer, like this is the rope. And we're oh. probably like 20 feet away. Yeah. Very cool. How do you think the aliens did this? The aliens did this? Why not? I have an idea for the snack. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Why did you bring a Twix here? It's back in the house. Yeah? You always gotta stay stacked with the, ch the snacks. What are you doing? <laughs> that's, that's the idea? Yeah, that's where they got it from. <laughs> Didn't you know that? <laughs> Twigs sponsor me. <laughs> Stonehenge Twigs. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently it gets really really busy here i mean you can see all these people we're here at what is it like 10 30. yeah and i think it opens at 9 30 so definitely coming earlier better but it's pretty organized yeah i would say that this is one of the more organized things that we've done but we're also here in may yeah beginning of off season and it's not as busy but there's a giant like school tour behind us so nick and i are trying to avoid this line yeah look at this behind us yeah there's quite a few people here <laughs> on wood anna's somewhat over it already there's rocks that's it i'm done <laughs> i saw it check i think we're hungry yeah. My Stonehenge Twix wasn't cutting it. <laughs> There's somehow even more people on this side than there were on the other side. I mean, I guess this is like kind of a better view, but like the other side was closer. It's not, a, it's not like a big circle no. to walk around, no. so it makes it pretty easy. Yeah. But I think because we just got off the bus, so there wasn't a lot of people over there versus people here have been hanging out for a bit. Yeah. So. And there is the highway. The motorway. That's what she called. Was it the coachway or something? No. Or was it I think it was motorway. 
So we took a bus right here. Obviously, you saw us get on the bus earlier from, um, Victoria, Station. from Victoria Station. It is. It's like early Saturday morning. I think our bus took off before 8:30, and it took us like a little bit less than two hours to get here. Yeah, not too bad. But after this, we're hopefully getting some food. Maybe there's some food at the visitor center we could just like snack on. Yeah, because we're not really stopping for lunch. The lady said we're just eating snacks it's along concerning. the way. It's concerning. Not for me. I'm, I'm saying it's. Mom. I'm saying it's concerning. It is concerning. <laughs> It's probably gonna be expensive if I gotta buy snacks. At the snacks at the rock place? Yeah, in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. After this, we're heading off to. Aliens. <laughs> after this, we're heading off to Bath. Uh, bath to see the Roman baths. So I'll take you along for that. So on the real though, these rocks I believe were indicators for like the winter solstice or something. I don't know. She told us on the bus, but. I think this is probably a good indicator as to what these were for. It's just a bunch of rocks, mate. <laughs> just a bunch of rocks in a field. <laughs> the overcast sun is killing your eyes. So I think if you wanted to, you could spend more than the 25 minutes that we spent here. There's like an app that you can download that does like free audio guides and yeah. stuff, but we were just like... We just wanted to see it. We're, yeah. <laughs> we saw it, we're gonna go to the gift shop and probably head on to Bath. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we got our food. We're gonna chow down because we're starving. You got a ham and cheese sandwich. Got myself a Korean barbecue pulled pork wrap, so. We'll and then we're just splitting salt and vinegar chips and then the Diet Coke, and it was 15.50. 50 pounds, not bad. Mm, yikes, but we're in the middle of For nowhere. two people in the middle of nowhere, that's yeah. not too bad. So we're walking back to the coach station now to get into the bus to go to bath. We had our lunch. Bath. Bath. <laughs> I didn't realize they had this like nice little like outdoor seating area. Should have ate out here. We definitely should have ate out here. <laughs> Example 1000 of how you know I'm foreign AF. Um, this whole time I thought this place was called Stonehenge. Like a bush? Like a bush, yeah. And I, in my head that makes sense because I'm like, oh, bushes, when you cut them, they're circular like a like a hedge. Mm. It's it's Stonehenge, which yeah. henge means circular in, in whatever Old language. English, I think it is. Yeah. Stonehenge. Not Stonehenge. We no, know it stone, is Stonehenge. Stonehenge, not Stonehenge. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Bilingual. <laughs> this is what it does to you. So we made it to Bath. It's a little bit busy. There's a rugby game that's happening in the next like hour. It's a little hectic here. We stopped to just get some quick lunch. I think we're just grabbing a burrito. Anna's ordering it right now, but this place is really, really nice. It's just very, very busy. Get our burritos. Mm -hmm. What? Are you hungry? Yeah. It's basically Chipotle. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's also some mole. Oh, okay. burrito. Babes is happy. <laughs> now, are you ready to go to the Roman baths? In bath? No, I'm ready to go to the pump room. I'm ready to go to the pump room. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that was a thing? Yeah. That's where the Romans went to. That's it's like in the bathhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Do that first and then wash it. Oh, Jesus, God. <laughs> How's the sun treating you? Not so great? Yeah, it's all right.
That's musty water. Musty and rusty. Anna, would you like to take a bath? I'd like to take a bath in bath. In the bath. In bath. No, not in that bath. Not actually. in that bath. That's pretty green. She did warn us on the bus that it's that like, water's like thousands mineralized of years. and thousands of years old. It looks pretty like it's just like it not looks ideal. like what your pool looks like after a big storm. Yes, that is exactly what it looks like. And you're like, I need to get my pool shocked I, with chlorine. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what it looks like. That's what that looks like. <laughs> I guess what it used to look like. That's pretty cool. It's starting to smell more like minerals. No, it's, that's, I think that's me. Oh, the sulfur? Yeah. Mm. Sinko. Sinko. <laughs> oh, it really stinks now. Colston. Babe, that's for you. <laughs> yeah, because you trip everywhere. God, this is on the path. I told you. You should not be recording and walking, not you. Definitely not. It's you are accident bigger. prone. It's much bigger than I thought I was going to be. I'm falling in this I, think I have to watch where I'm going. Pool of water. No. Well, that was very educational. There was a lot more people in there than I thought there was going to be. It was hot. It was stinky. It was hot. It was stinky. Ooh, shoes. We've got two hours until our bus leaves, so we're just going to shop around real quick. That is gold. What do you think? Pretty light. I'm gonna touch Try them on? Yeah, no, I don't want to for you. I guess I'm gonna bring it down for any second. Okay, we got some winners. Yeah. They were like 27 pounds. Yeah, it's not too bad. We're matching. Yeah. I, I feel like this happens to a lot of couples where you unintentionally start to match your spouse. But we had like external layers on and then it got hot and we both took our jackets off and Nick and I both realized we're both wearing white t-shirts and black jeans. I just... And then we both have like black and white shoes on. It, bo it literally bothers me when this happens. I freaking hate it Because so sometimes much. people think we do it on purpose. We definitely do like not. Like if we meet up with friends, but we definitely we're do. not the only people this happens to. No. Okay, so we got you some shoes. Let's look at some shoes for me. Yeah. Office it is. Nick try on Converse. I want to try these on. Absolutely. Going to. They're I cute. Have to. No Chuck Taylors for me today. Those shoes were too, too small. I think that style, like the toe of it, it's more narrow. So I think those ones just didn't fit you. Yeah. They looked good, but if they're not comfortable, don't yeah. get them. It's questionable. I don't think they're that good. Whatever. I wear them all the time. Yeah, you wear them all the time. You're in a big clown. That's yeah. true. Yeah, but like I have an average size foot. I have a gigantic, <laughs> <laughs> huge foot. Well, that was it for a day trip out of London. To Stonehenge and Bath. Thanks so much for watching today. Make sure you hit subscribe, like our videos. It really helps us out. We love you. We'll Bye. see you next time. Bye.